I just, I don't have a lot of equipment, drum equipment, but I, what I do have is pretty, uh, it's of a good quality, I think, anyway. And I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to show off this, uh, one of these snare drums that I have. One of the snare drums. I only have, uh, I think five snare drums. And I'd like to showcase them all, because I think I'm very proud of them. This one in particular, uh, I called it Frankenstein because I've cleared rooms out with this drum. I'm not kidding you. Uh, it's a Brady, it's a block shell, Christopher Brady. And uh, this drum is made out of a uh, Yara, which is a, a wood that's found in Australia, New Zealand. And uh, you gotta see how thick this thing is. And if you can see how heavy it is, it weighs a ton. Oops, sorry. Anyway. Uh, I want you to hear this thing. Uh, it's pretty massive. I don't use it uh, playing out anymore. I did when I was in a band in a band that was kind of a very loud metal band, and I needed to uh, I needed something to project over the guitar player and bass player. I just want you to hear what this sounds like. I tuned it very. It's very low pitched. Or medium. That's about medium. So you can hear how this drum just projects. And what Christopher Brady, uh, the way he built his drums, that he would cut out, he would look for fallen trees, like uh, trees that had just fallen from a storm, or he would sometimes go out and cut them down. But he would find the right size log, and then he would just hand carve the drum out. So this is like one solid log. And uh, I purchased this around 1990-91, when he was first making them. Because he started making them in the 80s, and then uh, Steve Jordan ordered one because he had heard one. And then Charlie Watts also had one. And then from there he was building a... Uh, snare drums, and then he went into drum sets. Uh, he was building for a lot of these high-end clients, so uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, he did good for himself. Uh, I'm not sure how well these drums sold, and there were problems with the later uh, versions that he made. They would they were actually cracking or splitting open. I'm not sure how well the drum sets did either. I don't really see a lot of them around. Uh, and this drum I only use like when I record. This drum does record really well, but I, the live I just I can't. I've had two people like yell at me. <laughs> they were both women, so uh, because of uh, the projection of this drum, it just I guess it was too much for them. You hear that? Even, I'm not even whacking the drum at all. I'm just. Sounds good. Sounds good in here. Anyway, this is the Christopher Brady drum. It's uh, 14 by, I think this is a seven and a half. I am not kidding you, this weighs about 12 pounds. This is a 12 pound drum. I can't, there's no way I'm gonna schlep this around. I'll keep it at home. And I know uh, Chris Brady just retired. He wasn't doing too well the last few years. I think he got sick. And uh, he called it, kind of called it quits a few years ago. Uh, but he's still around. Thank God he's still hanging in there. And uh, I'm very glad for him. And I'm very glad 
that he made his drums and I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that I purchased this drum way back when.